Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. I was talking recently to Lee from Inside the Distance Boxing, and he made a point that it sort of occurred to me previously, but I, never, I didn't really dwell on it until we, we sort of talked about it. And that is that with all these fights coming thick and fast, and they are coming, you know, all these different cards from, well, obviously we've got this Riyadh thing, this Turkey Ella Shake throwing money everywhere and, you know, the five versus five. And it all seems to me that we're not getting a chance to sort of get excited about these fights that are coming up. It's like, okay, it's almost disappointing when there isn't a, a big card on at the weekend, you know, a particular weekend. Um, we're like, oh, there's no boxing on this weekend. Well, what's all that about? You know, what happened there? They missed, missed a trick there. Well, actually, if you think back, I don't know, 15 years, big boxing events were, you'd be lucky if there was one a month. And as a result of this sort of bonanza, this great sort of renaissance in boxing that we've had, I mean, we've never, never had it so good, not in my lifetime. You know, if you're the same age as me in your late 50s, and this is an amazing, amazing time for boxing with all these cards and all the access that you have to fights. You know, there's just so much of it on you. There's so many different ways of watching it, so many different platforms. Yes, I know you've got pay-per-view and it's not necessarily cheap, but there are ways around that, shall we say. Um, it's it's a, it's a renaissance. It's a golden age for boxing. And, but... But just to play devil's advocate, like Lee and I were talking about about it, uh, what about this idea that you can have too much of a good thing? What about the idea that you kind of end up diluting the formula? Because people get complacent. People get entitled. People start to think, oh, you know, great fights. Yeah, all right. That was, a, that was a half decent fight, you know. And oh, look at that undercard. There's only, you know, three or four good good fights on that undercard. And hang on a minute. If you look at the five versus five, I mean, at least four of those were potential headliners, you know, for, for other cards. 15 years ago, any one of those could have been a headliner on a Saturday night fight night. You know, um, I think people, I think there is a danger of people uh, becoming a little bit um, fat and flabby in their mentality towards this. They're like pigs at the trough, all stuff in their faces. And then when the slop runs out, you're thinking, well, what's next? What can I eat next? I'm not really that hungry, but what can I eat next? And the time it takes to build up a fight, to promote it. I know we live in this instant age where, you know, social media and we hear everything almost seconds after it's happened. And then all sorts of opinions fly around on social media and there's all sorts of rumours and then you get the odd conspiracy theory idiot ruin his stupid head but you get this you get this glut of activity and it's almost as if you know a great fight or a great card can not be appreciated as much as it should be and that great fights can be overlooked and lost in the mix and now, look, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate here, like I say, because this is a great era for boxing and I'm not knocking it. But I do think there is something to be said for that, that uh, for slipping into complacency and not appreciating the era while we're living it. Because very often, certainly in my lifetime, you know, people like, for example, back in the 90s, oh, boxing's dead. You know, the heavyweights couldn't have lived with those in the 70s and all this negative, pessimistic nonsense. And, of course, now it's, well, you know, the heavyweights wouldn't have lived with the ones in the 90s. Oh, no, the ones in the 90s were so much better. And look, appreciate it while it's here. Make hay while the sun shines. Don't be negative. Don't get to the point where in 20 years' time you'll be looking back and you're going, God, you know, those 2020s, what a brilliant time for boxing. Remember all those Saudi shows? Remember, you know, remember the, that five versus five thing? Remember all those great domestic matchups that were, look, appreciate it now you know what i mean and don't allow the whole tidal wave of fights that are coming at us or try not to let anything slip under the radar i mean there's no i've just watched um blair cobbs versus broner on a don king production but there's nothing else I don't think there's anything else on this weekend that was on friday night by the way 
So we've got Saturday night, Sunday night, nothing on. And suddenly I'm thinking, oh. <laughs> so I'm slipping into that that thing as well, that, that sort of mindset as well. But you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful because uh, this is a great era. Um, you know, kind of look ahead at what's ahead and all those great fights and kind of bear in mind, don't let it... Because I've even heard people say, oh, that fight was on Saturday. I didn't even know it was on. You know, and it, it might be a, like, quite a big fight. Don't, try not to fall into that into that trap. Um, but certainly, yeah, I, I think it, the, the sort of paradigm, if you like, has shifted because it used to be because we had so few fights they would be built up and built up and built up to the point where we were like frothing at the mouth and what, oh, it's going to be a great fight. Sometimes they disappointed, of course. You know, nowadays, it's we haven't got a chance to froth at the mouth. We haven't got a chance for it to build up and up and up because they, suddenly it's on us. But anyway, just a few thoughts on the current state of boxing, which is very, very positive uh, and the kind of attitudes that people have towards what's happening. Um, let me know your opinions. I'll be interested to read them and I'll reply to as many as I can. Um, thank you for subscribing. If you're new, please subscribe. It takes you a second to hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty of great videos for you. Lots of good content and, uh, hit the like button as well. Cause they count the likes anyway, much appreciated. I will speak to you soon and bye for now.